you're thinking about moving to Three Forks, Montana, well, that's exactly what I'm gonna cover in today's video. I'm gonna show you around the whole area of Three Forks, several neighborhoods downtown, and just give you a really big picture of the area as a whole. Right now, I am really close to downtown Three Forks, just outside of the uh, Sacagawea Hotel. Uh, this place was originally built in 1910 and was recently refurbished in 2010. It's an absolute gem of a place. It is rich in history with modern amenities and amazing fine dining at Pompeii's Grill and this lovely front porch right behind me here as well. So Three Forks gets its name from its location. Uh, it is very near the point where the Jefferson, Madison, and Gallatin Rivers all converge to form the Missouri River. And we're actually gonna be taking a peek at the uh, Headwaters State Park is what that's called, not far from here at all. And it's also a point where Lewis and Clark visited on their expedition back in 1805. Three Forks is a wonderful little town, uh, right in the heart of Yellowstone country with a rich farming community, uh, with rolling hills and wheat Montana farms just up the highway a little ways. Uh, it's an absolute wonderful town with a charming little downtown area. Uh, Three Forks just has so much to offer. The cost of living here in Three Forks is definitely higher than the national average, uh, but it is lower than the communities of Bozeman and Belgrade, for instance. Um, so, you know, it's going to be, especially those home prices, I should say, it's definitely going to be a more affordable option and only 30 minutes down the interstate to get to that international airport right there between Bozeman and Belgrade. There's been a lot of new development and new neighborhoods being built in the area as well, and not your typical in-town neighborhoods or developments. These are uh, just outside of town in the rolling hills with lots from an acre to five acres on average. There are also some other small communities in the area nearby like Logan and Willow Creek um, and one community called Ponderosa Pines which offers larger lots 20 acres or more in some cases um, and that offers some off-grid living as well. Three Forks has three public schools uh, an elementary a middle school and a high school which are all relatively highly rated according to niche.com. And of course, this area with the river so close by, you're going to have some absolutely phenomenal opportunities for fly fishing in the area as well. As for homes in the area, as I mentioned before, a lot of them here are just outside of town on an acre or more um, with spectacular views and river access. Um, and of course, there's some in town as well. So we're going to be taking a look at both of those today. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to show you around the whole area of Three Forks, uh, show you the town a little bit, drive you through some different neighborhoods, show you some different homes in different price points so you can get a feel for what might work for you. We're going to be looking at homes uh, from 450000 up to just under a million. I'm also going to be driving you through that beautiful Headwater State Park, so you're definitely going to want to stick around for that. So let's get after it right now. first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Three Forks, Montana or the surrounding areas like Bozeman, Belgrade, Manhattan, Big Sky and Livingston, then be sure to subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market here in Three Forks and the surrounding areas here in Southwest Montana. My name is Hallie. I'm a local real estate agent and the team and I get calls, texts and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move here in beautiful Southwest Montana and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move or buy or sell or invest in the next nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and we'd be honored to help you find your place here in Southwest Montana. All my information is in the description below. As I mentioned, I am right here in the town of Three Forks with downtown just behind me here. Um, it's an absolutely wonderful little charming town, but much like many other small towns in Montana, there's not a ton of shopping or dining. Uh, but of course, where I am right now here at the uh, Sacagawea Hotel with Pompeii's Grill, it's wonderful fine dining that people come from Bozeman to enjoy as well. And of course, the views all around me here um, are truly something to take in, and you'll be seeing a lot more of that as we get into the neighborhoods here in just a little bit. Now, right behind me here in downtown, there are of course some wonderful small businesses, uh, but another thing absolutely worth mentioning is Wheat Montana Bakery, which is right off of the interstate, just a short distance from here. Uh, the bakery offers everything from, you know, baked goods and a full deli to, um, you know, a variety of oatmeals and flour and things like that. Uh, it's a great resource for baking, 
but it's also an incredible stop uh, for travelers as it is right off of the interstate. Uh, it's a personal favorite, gotta stop at uh, Wheat Montana Bakery for sure. As far as things to do in the area, you can't go wrong with all of the camping and hiking and fishing um, and biking and all the other outdoor uh, recreational opportunities that this whole Southwest Montana area offers. Uh, there's also a rodeo grounds just at the other end of town, as well as the Rock and the Rivers Music Festival that happens every August. And if you wanted to get out of town and find some more options, do some more boutique shopping or a bigger grocery uh, experience like Costco, things like that, you can always head over to Bozeman. And if you haven't seen them yet and you're curious about Bozeman or Belgrade, be sure to check out my previous videos as well. And with that, let's go drive around the area of Three Forks here and I will catch you at that first home. So this first property we're gonna be looking at today is a 1,395 square foot home, uh, just not even a half a mile from downtown Three Forks, which is just behind me here. Um, it's a three bed, two bath home. It was built in 2006, uh, currently listed at 450,000. There's a one car garage right out back. Um, so it's got this nice aesthetic out front here. Um, it is a really quiet, nice neighborhood, well-established neighborhood with that easy accessibility to downtown Three Forks. So let's go drive around this area, give you a feel for what it's all about, and I'll catch you at that next home. Now in these neighborhoods that are just outside of Three Forks, I mentioned, you know, in the rolling hills outside of Three Forks, this one and the next are both gonna be um, in this same area, somewhat northwest of Three Forks. Now this home behind me is obviously brand new construction. We'll be seeing a lot of new construction out in this area as well. Uh, this one in particular uh, was began in 2022. Uh, it is a 2,078 square foot home, uh, four bed, two bath on 1.1 acres and it's currently listed at 629,000. Uh, now this one in particular, like I said, brand new construction. Uh, this whole area, there are some older homes, uh, but like I said, a lot of newer ones. Um, and as you can see, there's just a ton of room out here uh, in these rolling hills. So let's go drive around this area some more and I will see you at the next home. So now I am just northwest of Three Forks in the Rolling Glen subdivision or uh, neighborhood, if you will. This area has lots of rolling hills and you know dirt roads, and you'll see some horse properties around this area as well. The home behind me is 4,352 square feet. It is currently listed at 849,900. Uh, it's a three bed, three bath on five acres. And just take a look at these views all around me here this is another one where uh, the views are absolutely spectacular in this whole area so we'll check out this whole area and then I'm gonna head over to the Headwater State Park as well as Wheat Montana Bakery so let's get after it So 
as you can probably see, uh, Three Forks, Montana is an absolutely beautiful, charming, small town um, with amazingly friendly people and, you know, a really tight-knit community with that population, only 2,000 residents here. Now, I just had to stop at Wheat, Montana and go in and grab a muffin or some bread or whatever uh, before I head back on the interstate. Uh, so I'm going to show you around in there as well. And then we'll go drive around the Headwater State Park as well. With that, that wraps up everything you need to know about living in Three Forks, Montana. Um, and be sure to keep an eye out for my next video where I'm actually gonna go dive into the computer and show you on Google Maps so you can get a good feel for the lay of the land as well. And as always, whether you're looking to buy or sell or move or invest in the next nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I would be honored to help you find your place here in Three Forks, Montana and the surrounding areas, of course, in Southwest Montana. And until next time, I hope to show you around.